past the Nami, in fact. Interesting to see the Lulu being taken in this juncture, just given how much Nami has been there. I feel like the sustained advantage in those Nami lanes has what is allowed Bang to play. We haven't seen a duo lane out duel Wolf and Bang really at any point this season. Now Haru yep. trying on the profit. That's four defensive flashes already. Flash forward from Kubei. Peanuts here to try to back this one up. Cocoon comes through, lands onto Haru, but Prophet's still going to go down as Kubei finds the first blood. And now Peanut, a bit of a rough spot. Kubei doesn't have the rise. Moving a lot of pressure from that lane. Yeah, and Peanut now losing the Raptors as well. Haru sitting in the brush. Peanut, Might be more. Check this? No, he does not. Into the line coming through. Peanut low. And you oh see, he my takes god! His, he takes his hands off the keyboard. He knows that he's dead. Just gets popped. Cleaver. Then an attack speed zeal item is... Here's the teleport. Yeah, TP coming into the from the back. Crown roaming down. Has a roam more. Ready to go. Cuba got a flash in. Locks down. Bank with the wild growth comes through. But he's just taking so much damage from Haru. They take him out. Looks like they won't be able to find more. That's pushing in mid because Haru's there already. I mean, they have the fast track on this, but now SKT going to try to pinch from below. Cube still going to be the target in the front lines. Can't last too much longer. Getting HP back from the sap magic passive, but he will go down at the end. And now Ruler chased out by Baker. Falls two kills on the board suddenly for SK Telecom. They're going to be looking for more. Baker coming over the wall. The Assassin's Path won't be able to find a way back. Yeah, and this thing's down to half HP. The Mountain Drake already doing wonders for Samsung. SKT has no idea that this is happening. They throw out the Ash Hero. Won't do a damn thing. Baron. Over to Samsung, 24 minutes in. They more than make up for that. Realm Warp coming Rotation. through to the mid. Drag a couple minions in, but this is a bit of a botch here by Samsung. By the look of it, Crown Core JJ cut off from the rest of the team. Haru the collateral damage, not going to connect on the Baker, so he's still in the fight. Flash forward, though, is enough to finish him off. So far, a one for one. Baker for Ruler. And Samsung, can they get more? Looks like the answer might be yes as they chase down Wolf, but they're going to lose Core JJ as well. So a two for two in the end. Lots of turrets acquired by Samsung, but a really confusing play with the Realm Warp. Yeah, the Realm Warp was put down. It felt like both the teammates weren't clear on the call. Half of them took it, half of them didn't. And then it was only a frontliner, an exposed backline for Samsung. But again, these are the kind of small mistake plays you can make when you are massively ahead. Peanut is completely anemic on the Elise. With but now speaking of fight, Faker going in, Every jumping direction. on top of Ruler. He's going to be able to jump away with the Arcane Ship, pops the heal as well. Ash Hero coming through, connecting on the QA in the front line. But look at how tanky the Maokai is, just doesn't give a 45. damn about anything that SK Telecom does. That's going to be Prophet going down the Nautilus, the first one to get team fighting, and now a strong early game. And be the base broken for Samsung, and they're looking great. Yeah, 12 seconds left until Prophet can come up, and even if he was there, I don't think that he could do anything uh, all the same here. So Inhibitor goes down for Samsung pre-30 minutes. He can do to answer this one. Hawkshot does come through, but the Baron gets picked up, and Samsung, the train, is just about to arrive at the station as they just keep pushing towards that Nexus. Bjergsen did it once. Crown does it twice. Crown greater than Bjergsen, question mark? Hmm. Was that a question mark <laughs> to begin with? There was some disagreement, but this is all about Haru in game one. I mean, look at the turrets just going. What turrets? Uh, well, there's only three more left in the game right now for SK Telecom. Second in him falls in the top lane. Samsung, how long do they want to stick around? It's going to be the question. Looks like they will go ahead and peel back. Wave's not prepped in the bottom lane, so they can't rotate over to try to... Going all in. And he's going to jump into the back line. Shadow Assault comes through as he jumps in on the ruler, but he's just got to get out of dodge immediately. Gets popped. The Wild Growth will come through the last second to keep him alive, but barely so. Through Shop Barrage will scrape him on the way back to the fountain, but Samsung will be able to knock down this third and final in him. How long... Do they want to stick around is going to be the question. Super Creeps coming in and powered by Baron. Looks like Samsung want to go for the finish here at 33 minutes. But can they get it? Might be a bit of a risky play. Stick around. We'll see how they go ahead and play this one. Outdredge line comes through, connects on to Haru, but there's going to be no follow-up from SKT. Haru pushing forward, just chunking out the Nautilus continuously. And Cubay going deep, because in advance, dragging him almost into the fountain as he locks down. Bang. Has to start kiting back. Maelstrom's up, still has the Guardian Angel. It's popped up by that depth charge, still alive as he will go ahead and come back up, but it doesn't matter. The Nexus goes down, and Samsung absolutely plow through SK Telecom in game one. And Samsung are peaking even earlier than they did last season when they finally got it together during the regional gauntlet, went all the way to the world final. Well, they started about two weeks, maybe even a month early, and that's pretty scary because this is looking like a team that could compete with anyone in a best of five in the final. They may not get seeded there, SK. They take the Syndra, blind pick it because now they believe that Crown Syndra has reached that level. Baker gets the counter pick, and if either of these slippery assassins... Bang going back in, Exhaust coming through. That's going to be Core JJ barely staying alive, and now Ruler and Haru arriving. Doesn't even need the help of the Elise. They just come up with a kill. First blood goes over to Samsung. On the Shadow Dash, they draw him in with the dredge line as Cube arrives. 
the depth charge coming in, pops him up. Dodgefield's gonna buy him a little bit of time, but the Devil's Son comes through from ground, locks him down, and two more kills on the board for Samsung. Beautiful roam. But this peanut gets popped up. They're gonna flash away low on mana. Might not make it out of this one with his life. Gets taunted up as does score JJ as the charm connects. And two kills will go onto the board for SK Telecom. Now Ruler in their sights. But Faker's gonna have to flash away as Crown tries to fire back. Has the ghost rolling. Trying to push forward with the charm. Yet again, connects in. Haru goes forward. Finds Faker with the cocoon. Goes up with the repel, comes back down, and Ruler is able to take out Wolf, but Peanut leaps in, gets rid of the Syndra. Now Samsung have to go full retreat mode. Multiple kills coming through from Peanut in the fight, and Ruler just desperately trying to trade back, but he has to play this one so cautiously if he wants to stick around. Can't push for Crown, has Stan United coming through. Charm not going to connect, but the taunt does from Prophet. They should just be able to wail away at the Syndra. They get the kill. They take him out, but can they exit? Core JJ getting the root down onto Faker. Cocoon lands as well, and the turret is targeting him out. While growth will keep him alive for a little bit longer. Was that first buy? Faker fishing for a pick. See if he can get it, flashes and finds a charm on the ruler. The shield from poor JJ. Not gonna do anything. They even commit to Stand United just to keep 16%. Might help out. QB coming into the back side. Goes in. Death charge down onto Bang. Big pop up on the multiple members of the dragon onto Faker. Wild growth comes through, but it's not gonna be enough to keep him alive. He goes down. TP oh, burned down by Prophet. And that, yeah, they're going to go ahead. Goaltending. Let's watch Peanut. Ashar comes through. Flash away. Not going to connect onto anybody yet. So you just trying to zone them out. Peanut in the back of the pit. Can they stop the seal from coming through? Leaps into the pit. Baron still relatively healthy. Goes low. Spike comes through. And it's going to be Haru picking it up. He goes through with the repel. Comes back down. Just trying to get himself out. He'll be able to do so successfully. As Ruler dashes forward. Finds a kill on the Bang. They follow up with one on the Wolf. The ace about to happen as Ruler goes over the wall. Triple kill for the Ezreal and Baron over to Samsung. Ace over. They have Elise to drop Agro and Cuve. Oh, Wolf getting locked down. Redemption coming through. Can it heal him in time? Not going to happen. Ruler finds the kill. Nice engage by Cuve. Finding the dredge line. The last inner turret falls. Recall has to come through from Prophet. Does not have that Sand United anymore. Peanut getting locked down. Depth charge coming through, but Ruler gets caught up with the Ash Arrow. That's going to delay him jumping in and DPSing down these remaining members of Samsung. Able to dash out, has the Spirit Rush available, takes himself back to the fountain, but the base is being broken by Samsung in him, going down 27 minutes. How long do they want to stick around? QV so smart, tanking up and let it set up the go minions this? tank up. Yeah, they're gonna try. It's four seconds left on Wolf, still has the wild growth, but the first Nexus hurt has already gone down. Peanut getting caught up by the dredge line. Dead. Big Shadow Dash comes through from Prophet, but he has to get out of dodge. Wild Growth goes through onto him, keeping the Shen alive. It's Samsung, they might have to peel back out of this one unless they can find more picks. Ruler dashing forward, not able to kill off the Shen. He makes it back to the fountain. That will be the disengage from Samsung, but they get so much in the game one victory, but now he's integral. Stop the Baron being stolen, 6-1-4. Not quite a play of the Ruin King, but looking to close the game. Yep, that's gonna be another inhibitor going down. One last Nexus start standing in their way. Can they find it? Peanut ripped down a half HP. Has to get himself back to the fountain and heal up. He's gonna stick around, actually. Faker dashing in, looking for a pick, but he's just not able to find it. Makes it into the zone. His redemption comes down. He won't need the heal. Depth Charge comes through, pops up he and Prophet, but they should still be able to make it out. But the Nexus has been exposed. Samsung, I think they've just done it. The 2-0 victory over SK Telecom, their second loss in the split. And Samsung Galaxy makes such a statement for themselves to be meeting SKT in the grand final. And it's the sort of statement that can be obfuscated. If you're an SKT fan, you can rationalize this. We're still probably going to be first. We're still probably going to be waiting in the... Place your bets on more than 15 eSports games. Deposit and withdraw easily using many worldwide payment methods. Place your bets live while enjoying the game. We offer 24-7 support and bonuses for every new user. Bet now on ArcaneBet.com.